never let your sin shape your identity. Because as a believer, you are a new creation in Christ. Own your mistakes, but never allow your mistakes to own you. Paul called this godly sorrow, the type of sorrow that leads to repentance, that leads to change, that leads to you looking a little more like Christ each day with his help. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death. 2 Corinthians 7.10 Instead of hopeless condemnation, you have everlasting forgiveness. Instead of slavery to sin, you have freedom through Christ. Instead of irreversible regrets, you have a new beginning every single day. It can be difficult to accept forgiveness today in our shame-ridden cancel culture world. You don't feel like you deserve it, and plenty of people tell you you don't. But here's the odd truth about being a disciple of Jesus Christ. We have always lived in a cancel culture. When he canceled our sin, our death, our shame and guilt. So yes, you do deserve forgiveness because Jesus made it so. He gave you the ultimate presidential pardon. And it's for much more than an earthly life sentence. It's for all of eternity. I slammed my friend's, friend's fridge door in anger. I allowed Satan to seep through for a split second. I know I was wrong, but I also know I'm forgiven by my friends, by my Lord, and now finally by myself. And through this forgiveness, I have the freedom to repent, to turn from this wretched way of life to something better, something bigger, something heavenly. What do you need to forgive yourself for right now? A harmful word, a deceitful act? Accept the infinite forgiveness of Christ. He sacrificed himself on the cross for this exact reason, to set you free from the bondage of sin and all the shame that comes with it. You are no longer a prisoner. You are a free citizen in the kingdom of Christ. But don't forget, with this prestigious, humbling title does come responsibility to be more loving, more gracious, more forgiving, more self-controlled. Whether you're enduring horrible drivers on the road, battling a fierce opponent in a political debate, or even when you're celebrating the New Year's with close friends. Give everyone, including yourself, the gift of forgiveness Christ has bestowed upon all of us. This is how free people live.